The non-oil export sector has long been identified as the low-hanging fruit that is capable of boosting the country's GDP and foreign direct investment. This is why 3T Impex Consulting, in its 2022 annual trade finance survey, unraveled the root causes of the lack of growth of non-oil export volume in Nigeria. The maiden edition of the survey tagged Stimulating Export Finance Growth revealed that 57% of exporters identified the major challenges facing export business in Nigeria to include access to finance, exchange rate, port logistics, customs, and other government agencies. Other findings of the survey revealed that 94% of exporters experienced the rejection of their financing requests by Nigerian banks, and only 11% of exporters received approval for their export financing request. Mr. Bamidele Ayemibo, the lead consultant who presented the survey in Ikeja, Lagos, said that to change the 94% rejection narrative, exporters, particularly the micro, small and medium enterprises, must be export ready before approaching a bank for financing. He also added that Nigerian banks needed to become more creative in export credit risk assessment as well as an export credit insurance for counterparty risk, while also calling for government support. There is need for readiness on the part of the exporter, because the reason why that rate is also high is because that a number of the exporters are not ready. So there is need for readiness assessment. So before I approach the bank, I should also ensure that I'm ready for export. That means I should have a record I've done it before. If I've not done it before, I shouldn't go to the bank. They won't be interested in export. So I should have evidence I've done it before. But more importantly also is the fact that government should come in to provide credit insurance that can help the bank to reduce some of the stringent requirements they expect export to make available. Now, you talk about the fact that they are not providing equity. But, I mean, for me, if the bank, if I think the bank should reduce their student requirement and the CBN is saying the bank should get creative, then the exporter must do their own part by it's also providing equity, something that shows that they have commitment to this transaction. The government needs to support with credit insurance. I think we should reduce the rate at which government is asking bank to give guarantee. But government should rather be giving bank guarantee so that banks can be able to give the money out while government carry the risk of growing the export in the country. The Nigerian export sector, I would say, uh, needs a lot of improvement. We're doing good but it needs a lot of improvement. The percentage increment on the um, export um, value chain is um, very low compared with global uh, trade trends. And uh, everything needs to be done to encourage that sector to thrive. If we need to have more foreign exchange into the country, uh, we need to improve on our export capability. So I think... Um, uh, we, we've done well. I'm happy that um, more younger people are inclined to be involved in export now. Uh, and um, that should be encouraged and sustained. And uh, all sectors of the economy, I mean, all uh, institutions of government, talking about uh, the CBN, the Nigerian Export Promotion Council, the the, all the all those who are involved in Nigerian custom service, all those who are involved in the international trade, should give the necessary support so that the uh, the GDP of our nation can be better off. We uh, expect the government to do more in terms of um, infrastructure at the port. We want automated systems where exporters could export their goods seamlessly at the port without delay because we've seen instances where um, exporters got um, funds from the bank and um, they had issues exporting and that delayed the repayment. So you could see that is a, um, a government-related issue that is affecting both the banks and the customer. Um, the other way we think the government can also help is to create a export credit insurance. Export credit insurance to guarantee counterparty risk in such a way that once the, the exporters export and peradventure the fund does not come back, a bank will be sure that at least some percentage, maybe 50-60%, is already covered. And when you now add that to the equity contribution that the exporter has made, the bank will know that um, 
it's more covered and they will be able to do more export financing or give more export financing facilities. Mm -hmm.